fact is the human race has never really learned to think. Simple as that. We have been operating on a thinking system designed by the GG3, the Greek Gang of Three, uh, 2,400 years ago, which is all concerned with truth and discovering the truth, and not enough concerned with design and making things happen and making things better. It's also a system which is reasonably good in science and technology and very, very poor in human relations. I believe that the most important skill which youngsters can be taught is thinking. Like any other skill, it can be taught in just as formal and deliberate a way as mathematics. If we're looking at the skills with which a person leaves school, then uh, the skill of thinking is probably more important than any other. Essentially, we need thinking to deal with perception, broadening our perception, enriching our perception. Research shows that 90% of the errors in thinking are errors of perception, not errors of logic at all. Yet we persist in thinking that, uh, believing it's logic. Uh, we need uh, new thinking in terms of exploring a subject. Argument is a very crude, primitive, and inefficient way of exploring the subject. We need tools of creativity to enable us to change ideas. Powerful effects of teaching thinking are, for example, reducing uh, crime in very violent youngsters by 90%, increasing employment in unemployed youngsters by 500%, and also causing improvement in every other subject by between 30 and 100%. So these are very powerful effects of teaching thinking directly. If you don't provide a structure of thinking, all people do in their thinking is enlarge on their preconceptions and prejudices and so on that we really have not developed any software, any frameworks for thinking. And we've been coasting on what the GG3 uh, designed 2,400 years ago, and it's been adequate, and we're very complacent, we're very self-satisfied about it, but it, it's nothing like making the best use of the human brain.